please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hasib, bravo to you first. Uh, what would you want the Finance Commission to do as someone who has shepherded a state until recently? S. Gohan once very famously said, the Finance Commission is a dog that bites the uh, states and barks at the center. Now, I just hope and pray that this Finance Commission does the opposite. I think we need to understand today's discussion in the context of yesterday's discussion. We are looking at new economy or new India, where yesterday the focus was on how states drive the economic growth now. It's in that context that we must understand the role of Finance Commission, but I think move also beyond Finance Commission. Center state relations or center state finances are not restricted only to Finance Commission. Finance Commission sets the framework. If you look at constitutionally speaking, and there's nothing that one can disagree with what Mr. Singh said, because, and he, being a very seasoned bureaucrat, kept all his cars to himself and gave us a wonderful uh, exposition of the complexity of his task, which understandably so, and in, in many ways, uh, the general public understanding of Finance Commission is not as you know, intense as it ought to have been, and he's making an effort to make sure that they understand. Constitutionally speaking, India is a union of states, but I think the way I would want to see the new economy, that's a federation of economies. We should stop seeing India as one economy. And this I'm saying from the perspective of businesses particularly. Don't see India as one large economy. India is 30 economies with 30 levels of skill endowments, resource endowments, and so on and so forth. And the center state relations should now provide a framework for these 30 economies to work in tandem and bring in investments and growths and various things that were discussed just now. Uh, because the first phase, the macroeconomic story, basic policy regime is in place. We now need to look at the action at the, cent at the state levels. And the center state framework needs to change to that. And I'll go further on. I had no intention to interrupt, actually. I wanted you to have your say on the Finance Commission. But to say that we are 30 economies, uh, is, in this group of businessmen, I don't think anybody will agree. I don't think anyone can run any business within his state. Because everybody will admit that their economy is India. I doubt, sir, there are 30 economies. No, no. What I'm saying is see it as 30 economies with endowments and with positions and whatever, and policy regimes. The point I'm trying to make is states must have powers to power, you know, policy flexibility. If they have to move from coercive federalism to cooperative federalism to competitive federalism. All I'm saying is that the institutions of federal, federalism in India have evolved in response to a particular regime, which was of a closed economy, a controlled economy. We are now an open economy, a regulated economy. Nothing has changed. Earlier, private investment was driving growth, public investment was driving growth, and was used as a way for equalization. Today, it is private investment. Today, markets matter. Natural resources matter. None of this is coming in the ambit of the center state relations. We need to move to the next level. Today, I, am, I think we should move, its time has come, to move from a tax-sharing federalism to a resource-sharing federalism. India has to move from a union to a federation, stop short of being a confederation. I think that's where the design change has to come, and Finance Commission ought to drive it. Most interestingly, which Mr. Singh pointed out, we had a constitution, unconstitutional intruder in the federalism called Planning Commission, which was distortionary. The kind of things that complexity that Mr. Singh was talking about emanated from the uh, Planning Commission, and we were, had this artificial distinction between plan and non-plan, which has now got reversed. We are now looking at revenue and capital. So Finance Commission, 15 Finance Commission, very, very important role. We can come to terms of reference. I think that's really critical because that's been done. But there's enough statutory powers that the Finance Commission has to redesign, and that I think is the need for it, to redesign the framework of federalism in India, fiscal federalism. Are you saying that they have the ability to change from sharing of taxes to of sharing course, of resources? Of course. There's nothing in the Constitution that prevents him. He's a statutory body. 
Planning Commission was not a statutory body. The only other federal institution, which I think is more genuinely federal than Finance Commission, is the GST Council. They need to now work on, because they need to work in tandem and work it out. In the 10th Commission, I happen to be working with the 10th mm -hmm. Commission, we changed the entire setup of sharing of taxes because the Finance Commission is free to recommend, and we suggested an alternative model of 29%. Earlier it was limited to may sh share, shall share. There were all kinds of complications. We just avoided all that and said, let's put it together a number, give 29% to states. That has gone to 42 now. And that was given as an alternative devolution scheme. Nothing prevents Mr. Singh from recommending that this is what you want me to do as per constitution. However, orbiter dicta, alternative, new federal scheme, this is what I want to do. I recommend to you, take a call, and that is how policy changes happen. And he has managed policy changes in 91. I mean, I, I know the team that was there. You know it. We've covered it as journalists. So he has the capability in the authority to do that. So I think it's at a point of time when we need to seriously go beyond the TORs of population and stuff. We need to take a bigger picture. Let me get uh, Dr. Biswas in, uh, Dr. Sharma in. Uh, uh, Mr. Sharma, your first uh, uh, reactions, uh, I summarized to you what uh, Dr. Singh Sir. said. What are your expectations from the Finance Commission? You know what is the political power of a state, what is the political power of center. But economic relationship is still evolving. You have uh, Schedule 7, List 1, List 2, List 3 is there. Now, health is a subject which falls within the state. Now, Karnataka is capable of launching a similar scheme like Ayushman Bharat, and the individual of Karnataka can access health insurance cover. Now, can state of Nagaland launch a health insurance scheme of that magnitude without center support? Now the question is, we are talking state as a unit. Now come to individual. A individual taxpayer of Nagaland or Assam, he is also paying the same amount which now Finance Commission is going to distribute. Now a taxpayer from Karnataka is also paying the same amount which Finance Commission will distribute. Now why inequality in their life? If people of Karnataka can access Ayushman Bharat, why Assam people will not access? Because I am paying same tax. Geographical boundaries doesn't matter. I am living in the same country. So don't you think that even in the state lease, you need central sector scheme without PMG SUI? Will the state in Naga Northeastern region, Uttarakhand, would have at any point of time, would have access to a all-weather road? Probably answer is, is no. So. It's, it's very hard tax, difficult tax, and I believe that in India, relationship between state and center, least one, least two, least three, all these needs a relook. For the first time, you have a prime minister who has worked as a chief minister of a state, although we have Mr. Devagara, but his position in PM was brief. But Mr. Modi has worked as a chief minister for a fairly long time, and we understand, we are confident that he will work as a prime minister for a fairly long time. So this is the time, I mean, there is a prime minister who, knee, who knows the requirement of a state, who understands now requirement of a country, because although securing country, defense, army, it looks like a mandate of a central government, but with, if you don't secure country, then how a state will prosper? How Jammu Kashmir can prosper if there is no army? So, or there is somebody who is securing sovereignty of the country. So this is a very critical function. You need to approach it from a very practical point of view, and I hope Mr. Singh is capable of doing that. But while I emphasize on this point that this is a very critical thing to do, but at the same time, we must also see that states are not uh, being deprived from their genuine uh, resources. I'll come back to 14 Finance Commission. Now, 14 Finance Commission on paper, they have done a very good work for the states. It is, it is believed to be so. But we have presented the facts before 15 Finance Commission day before yesterday 
that it was not like that because on you have devolved us 42 percent but you have shifted many central sector scheme to the state and only day before yesterday central government has said that your teachers whom you have appointed in compliance to right to education henceforth will pay only 15,000 so earlier they were paying full now they said that we will pay only 15,000 now result is state like Assam my additional burden is 450 crore will be for these years this is exactly the amount which the 10 percent fiscal space is going to be uh, or it is mean for us so I think this finance commission has to keep certain things very clear what is the central sector scheme whether central government is allowed to change the goal post in between now if we are sharing the resource now what, what, whether there will be common kitty where state will also contribute to the defense of the country so there are certain things which this finance commission will have to address and I am sure that in GST we have shown the wisdom that when center and state can work together we can produce some result which nobody was expecting so I believe that Send, uh, finance commission should not only visit the state the interaction should continue and at some point of time center and state should come face to face I mean it should not be like a Supreme Court judge that you hear both sides and then you announce a judgment you should have your continuous interaction at some point of time bring central finance department at state finance face to face discuss this issue and try to actually create a new India where there will be no confrontation no conflict between state and center and it will be the essence will be a cooperative federalism and I have full faith on the new finance commission we have just had GST in that spirit and I think this finance commission will also uh, perform in the spirit of the cooperative federalism which we have just seen in evolution of GST Okay, well, there are two common themes between both of you. Both of you recognize that an important federal institution has been created, the GST Council, and the Finance Commission will have to uh, interact with it or take cognizance of that reality. And the other thing, of course, both of you are speaking about cooperative federalism. But, you know, since you spoke at length about the uh, change in the 14th Finance Commission from 32% being going to states to 42%, are you objecting to it? What if the formula were reversed? or changed uh, uh, what yeah, you not, I mean not, you don't seem to be happy no, with 42 no Lataji again India is a diverse India is a diverse state northeastern region will be very happy if you introduce normal central assistant which you are there if you reintroduce SPA central plan assistant which you are there in some form and if you don't whatever goal post you have sensed during this period post post finance commission I'll be very happy to go back to 32% because my devolution in, in actual terms is not very uh, impressive from 32 to 42. But has it increased at all or has it fallen? It, I mean, it is, it is, it is uh, if, it, if I have to say that it is increased in a very moderate way. But now, the case will, Karnataka and Bengal will not be same because they were not enjoying 90-10. So 32 to 42 percent is a wholesome gain for some state and for some state it is a moderate gain. So you have to appreciate the final facts that India is 30 state is not one unit, 30 economy or whatever, but it is not one unit. You have a five brother, sons, all are not equally competent. Somebody is doing fairly good in education, somebody is not, going, not doing good. So you have to have a a la carte menu. You can't have a buffet all the time. That this is the buffet, you, this is the menu. Okay. So you have to make that positive discrimination and you have to see case by case. So impression in Delhi and Bombay, no, no, we have made 32 to 42. So that may not bring joy to everybody. So you have Any to go measure. into detail. Okay. So that, that is my point. Okay. Well, I, I think uh, Hasib wants to add something to it. You were nodding vigorously. No, Mike, Mike. Sorry. I don't think one needs to get into the nitty gritty of 32 42. What was the basic intent of 14th Commission? I think we need to look at some basic design issues. 
we have a messy transfer of resources today. Messy. You do revenue sharing, then for a variety of political reasons, we got into expenditure underwriting, which is where the actual problem came up, which is CSSs came in, ministries started to get in, gross budgetary support came in, it became messy, and there was a point in time when Uttar Pradesh would get 47% of the total CSS kitty. All right? So there were issues, I mean, since 1974 onwards, they have been rationalized and whatever. The brilliance of the 14th Commission thing was simple-mindedness. Let me forget the expenditure underwriting. Let me just focus on the revenue sharing. In which case, Hemanta would not have lost. I also come from the same state, a special category state. Only two special category states in India exist, Assam and JNK. They have to be sitting here. Assam then subsequently broke into seven, and you know, we had eight and nine. Now, once this un expenditure underwriting thing goes away, that is where the problem arose. But because for a variety... Now, that is what the understanding was, that the expenditure underwriting will go down. So when Hemanto says resources were not increased, the total aggregate vertical was 61%. It remained 61%. But where I am very happy as, or I was and happy as a policy maker was, I knew exactly what my revenues will be. There was certainty. It was transparent in devolution form. So revenue sharing was, was there. And there are criteria. Then you will have discussions on criteria. You can blend population. You can do income distance. You can do whatever. All that is fine.